hi there td community a little overview of a tool i think not everyone knows about it's the probe tool and it can be super useful to find out if you have uh, hogging somewhere in your project and some things like bottlenecking your project so for example um, i have like three generators running here and so if i switch them everything's running 60 fps but the moment um, I go to index three, as you can see, my FPS are dropping a little bit. So let's just imagine it's a way bigger project. So it's not super clear that of course the noisy sphere is the problem here, but instead imagine we are somewhere here and having a problem. So we open the palette and under tools, we go into uh, P, for the probe and we drop it in our project. And then if we zoom in, it says, okay, press control P. Uh, let's do that. And then here, as you can see, we have an overview and we can uh, switch between different uh, settings and values. So in this case, CPU time basically describes how much time does the network inside of the, the node or the node itself need to compute everything on the CPU. GPU time is the same, but for the graphics processing unit and CPU memory and GPU memory is how much of the memory is eaten by your uh, component and network. You can of course, um, up to a certain extent, get this information by middle clicking on the container. So in this case here, it says children CPU cook time 13 milliseconds, which is quite a lot. Um, and the same goes here, but instead of having to click on every parameter, you get a super nice overview um, regarding that. So let's go into our project. And what we now can also do is uh, click on the project here. So we click uh, content comp project one. And what, like the first thing we can see is how the pulling system of uh, touch designer is working very nicely here right now. Cause um, as you can see, like all of the disks are changing on every frame. And this means that they are calculating and all the blue ones, they are static. They're not doing anything. So they are not computing is quite nice and we did this by using a simple switch top so we can when we hover over our um, base comp here we can see that we are <coughs> having a calculation time at least on the cpu of around one millisecond and the gpu time also is around one millisecond for a single um, for a single component that's quite okay so let's see what happens if we change the index you can see how the interaction drastically changes right here so now the the middle part is uh, working so uh, we see okay here the banana split component is taking 0.2 on the cpu and 0.2 on the gpu so also quite nice um, let's see what happens if we change some parameters. Nothing too crazy happening here. Some interaction. Um, so this also seems quite okay. Let's go to number three. And we see, oh, 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 okay. So we are hitting 16 milliseconds on the CPU. And for the GPU, we are still in a quite good level. So it's like one milliseconds for the rendering inside. So the problem obviously is something CPU related. So what we can do now is we can again click here and we will see, okay, we have two noise subs and every of these noise subs alone takes up eight milliseconds cook time. So, um, yeah, let's see what's going on here. We uh, can simply, and that's also quite nice, is uh, do 
do, 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 do a right click. So even if we are still on our top level, we can right click on a project um, somewhere in the network, let's call it network, and we will open a viewer for this component. Or uh, when we outside and uh, we right click on the component, we want to inspect it will uh, select it for us or like pre-select it. So let's left click on the component and look inside and we already see, okay, two noise sobs. Let's see, why are they taking so much time? So, oh yeah, okay, we have a lot of rows and it's two noise sobs, so we're just basically reducing the amount of, of points. We were able to reduce the strain down to a handy one milliseconds, which is still a lot, but definitely handleable for a 30 sec, uh, 60 FPS setup. And basically that's it for the probe. It's just a nice tool to get a, an overview over what's cooking where and what's holding up your, your times. Also, it's super useful for larger projects. So yeah, go, go and use it and enjoy.